views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of the station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio, harnessing our connection with the universe to affect change for optimal success and happiness. Are you looking for direction with your relationships, business, purpose, or simply life? Well, you're at the right place. Named one of the country's top psychics, Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit calling show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, gifted others, but mostly you. Get ready for a slice of life's journey, Eve's objective guidance, tarot, readings, and the momentum you need to move beyond whatever crossroad you're stuck at. Now here's your amazing host, Eve. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio, harnessing the power of the universe for happier living. My name is Eve, the MBA psychic from Elite Tarot. Thrilled to be here today talking time and stress management. Benny, thank you so much for piloting this ship and many thanks to one and all for tuning in. Now, when I started hosting Mainstream Metaphysics Radio, I knew right away that I wanted to have Teresa Bell on my show. It took over six months to come together as Teresa is in great demand nationwide, yet I am dancing with joy as today is the day she is joining me in studio, or at least on the phone. (laughs) Frankly, I don't know how she does it. However, with the intense travel and work schedule that she has, every time I hear her speak, her joyful enthusiasm and masterful use of energy shines through. Teresa is a time and stress management expert and author of Accelerate Your Energy, which is a fantastic read. I will be bringing her on in just a few minutes, and I cannot wait to let her light shine on you. For those who are tuning into the show for the first time, I just want to say welcome, 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 and share a bit about who I am. I'm an intuitive coach and professional tarot card reader who works with clients around the world in helping them tap into their own power to embrace joy by utilizing universal energy efficiently. It is my belief that we are all surrounded by energy, and what can happen is that with career, love, or finding your purpose of passion, we sometimes, even with the best of intent, find ourselves blocked, almost as if we're working twice as hard, but only getting half as far. This leads to frustration, stress, and still little movement forward. My role is not to define your path, but rather help you use energy effectively so that you're moving that energy to your back and working half as hard, but getting twice as far. As a result, there is movement of energy and joy can be embraced all from a position of great strength. If you're interested in scheduling a session, you can do so directly on my website, which is www.elitetarot.com. That's E-L-I-T-E-T-A-R-O-T dot com or Mainstream Metaphysics Radio dot com. As always on this show, we will also be doing readings in the second half of the program. I'll be doing a three-card tarot card reading for callers with the first card representing you, the second card representing something challenging or blocking you, and the third card representing advice. After that, I'll be turning the reading over to my guest, Teresa, for her unique guidance on the caller situation. In addition, I have something special. Teresa is graciously giving away one signed copy of her amazing book, Accelerate Your Energy, to the first caller starting right now, and a laminated poster copy of the top five energy boosting tips to the second caller. How great is that? Now, if you call in trying to be the first or second caller and would also like to have a reading later in the show, just let Benny know. The phone lines are open, so give us a call at 800-930-2819. That's 800-930-2819. 
1-800-273-1819. As always, to ensure that readings are not redundant, please wait at least three weeks between readings if you've had one from me already. Now, I always like to introduce the show's topic by briefly talking about a tarot card. So I wanted to talk a bit about the Seven of Wands, which shows a person holding one wand as a fighting block to knock down six other wands that try to come to the surface. I always think of this card like the old whack-a-mole game on the boardwalk, where as soon as you knock down one mole, another one pops up. Not knowing where the next one comes up leaves you feeling hyper-vigilant and frankly stressed. In this card, the strain and stress of keeping everything in line clearly shows on his face, and joy is nowhere seen on this card. In fact, the very act of using a wand, which represents creativity and feeling inspired as a weapon, so to speak, talks to putting off personal joy and fulfillment in order to get everything done. As stress can take its toll on mind, body, and spirit, ask yourself if you are sacrificing some personal fulfillment just to be able to tick off the boxes on your personal or work to-do list. Give yourself permission to bring your dreams to the surface so you are using your power and strength to embrace joy and fulfillment. Well, let me bring on my guest, Teresa. Teresa Bell is an author, speaker, and Microsoft Office coach. She is the author of Accelerate Your Energy, 10 Microsoft Excel Shortcuts to Supercharge Your Life. A world traveler, Teresa has traveled the globe from Alaska to Australia for over 20 years teaching attendees in her workshops topics such as time management, stress management, Microsoft Office, and many other professional development skills. At practically every training she does, she's asked, how do you get your energy? Well, we are about to find out right now. So welcome, Teresa, to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. Thank you so much, Eve, for having me on your show. I'm so excited to share my journey with everyone here today. Oh, I am so excited that you are on the show. And what a perfect segue. So tell me, tell me a little bit about your journey of living your life with just such great energy. I thought I was doing everything that people told me to do. You know, they said, go to, go to school, get good grades, and do what you love, and the money will follow, right? We've all heard that. So I went to college to become a purchasing agent, and lo and behold, I did. I became a purchasing agent. I thought it was going to be magic and butterflies, but it wasn't. <laughs> mm-hmm. it was work. <laughs> it was a lot of overtime. A lot of mistakes were happening. And I felt very underappreciated. It was awful. And I didn't know what to do. I felt very stuck. And it started to impact my physical life, too, because I started gaining a bit of weight. And I couldn't sleep at night. And I get those Sunday night blues. You know, whenever you hear the <laughs> from 60 Minutes, I don't know if anybody watches that show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> So that was kind of like my symbol, like, oh, my God, I have to go to work on Monday. But then the Sunday night blues started becoming the Monday night blues, which came the Tuesday night blues. And it was starting to impact my work because I wasn't able to think clearly and work started to pile up. And Eve, I still remember the day that I drove up to work and it was a Monday. I opened up the door and I threw up. Oh, that- no. Sad, I felt. That's how anxious I felt about walking in those doors. And I thought, this is not what I went to school for. This is not what I came into this universe for. I wanted something more for my life. When I remember saying it out loud, I need to redesign my life. Well, Eve, it's kind of interesting how the universe sometimes listens to what you say. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> one day I was helping out a colleague of mine at work and They had a question about Microsoft Excel, so I kind of showed them how to do it. And they said to me, you know, you'd be a really good trainer. Have you ever thought about being a trainer? And I thought, you know, we just had a lot of fun right here. It might be a lot of fun, and it was better than doing what I was doing right now. So I said goodbye to all my friends for six months, and I hunkered down in my basement every night after work. Every every night after Judge Judy, I would sit down. (laughs) I love Judge Judy. And I, would, <laughs> and I would learn Microsoft Excel, the spreadsheet program, Microsoft Word, the document program, 
presentation skills from uh, PowerPoint and Outlook, uh, the time management program, because I just wanted to be prepared for any opportunity that came my way. And it did. There was a company that was looking for trainers, and I auditioned, got the part as trainer, and it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I could sleep better. I was excited about waking up for the day. And when I was excited in my class, other people got excited in my class from the very beginning. Um, when people walk into my class, I say to them, are you looking for the Excel class? And they'll say, yeah. So I said, well, this isn't it. This is the Excel party. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, so that's how now I live my life with energy. I've redesigned my life. And, but I had to learn it the hard way. You know, I had to learn it the hard way. I was stressed out and anxious, and I wasn't managing my time very well. And, and now life has totally changed for the better. And that's why I'm so happy to be on your show so I can share my journey and how I did that. So thank you. No, thank you so much for sharing that. You know, it's interesting because it's almost like a be careful what you wish for moment. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and when we say, you know, I really need to make a change, when you start kind of laying it out there, it really does allow for those open doors that I talk a lot about on the show from the universe. And then it's up to you whether or not you, you go through them. Right. That's very true. The very big step in that is making a decision to want to make a change in your life. That's absolutely right. And then once you do make the decision, now what? Because so often we, we, we have that deciding, say, we're going to make a decision. I'm going to make a decision. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But then, obvious, but then something has to finally be that moment where you just kind of get caught up and fed up and, and sick enough of everything just to say, all right, this is, this is the time I'm actually going to start putting some, some elements in place. Right. Yeah, and sometimes the universe will give you these angels, like that one lady that just said to me, you know, you might be, you might think about this training thing. If she had never said that, I would have never thought I had those skills whatsoever. So, wow, there, are, there are, I truly believe that there are those those angels in our lives that that come out of nowhere almost and and help lead us in to uh, new new chapters of our journey. Well, I want to hear more about the book and just how we can embrace energy and, and just have a little bit of your enthusiasm. But first, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'll be talking more with my guest, Teresa Bell, and we'll be doing readings later on in the show. You are listening to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. We'll be right back. And I stumble to the kitchen Pour myself a cup of ambition And yawn and stretch and try to come to life Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping Out on the street the traffic starts jumping Bree Gibbs is a fourth generation high priestess With the knowledge to raise your vibration and conscious creation Offering a wide variety of services from goddess light and shamanic healing seminars To private reading sessions Bree works with you so you too can stand in your own power isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Bree's services and products, visit SilverGaia.com. That's Silver, G-A-I-A, dot com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called, to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Awareness is universal. Establishing a living awareness through meditation brings peaceful, healthy, and creative well-being into your everyday life. The practice of living awareness, Spirit Fire's own meditation practice, is built on this belief and is designed for every level of practitioner. Each year, Spirit Fire hosts living awareness meditation retreats 
that allow you to explore the practice in depth at our retreat center in beautiful Western Massachusetts. Introduce yourself to meditation and the practice at the Foundations Retreat. Attend in silence a silent meditation retreat focused on mindfulness, presence, and nature, or be engaged with the meditation sittings themselves at the deepening retreat. Start adding to your awareness and attend a meditation retreat designed to cultivate consciousness in your everyday life. For details on attending a Living Awareness Meditation Retreat, visit upcoming events at www.spiritfire.com. Treat the body and expand the soul on June 1st with Lynn Brown. In this all-inclusive retreat, you'll treat your body with breakout sessions in the various elements of nature. Enjoy fireside chats while harnessing the healing energy of fire. Allow more light with more ease and activate that connection between the body and spirit. Call 206-931-7356 or visit lynnmbrown.com. You, yes you, can be the highest version of yourself. Wellness coach and natural beauty expert Dr. Agnes Renkel is on a mission to help you play the game of your life. Win in vibrancy, health, and beauty. Because you deserve it. Dr. Agnes goes beyond the limits in her personal coaching sessions to revolutionize health and wellness. Now is the time to unleash your true power. For more information, visit dragnesfrenkel.com. Welcome back to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. I'm Eve, the MBA psychic from Elite Tarot with my guest, time and stress management expert, Teresa Bell, author of Accelerate Your Energy. We will be doing readings shortly, so if you're interested in a reading, give us a call at 800-930-2819. Also, as Teresa is generously giving away her book, Accelerate Your Energy to the First Caller and a laminated poster copy of Top 5 Energy Boosting Tips to the Second Caller. So the number again, if you'd like the book, the poster, as well as have a reading is 800-930-2819. So Teresa, I have so many more questions for you, but before we get to that, could you please share with our listeners how they can learn more about you, get your book, all that kind of fun stuff. Great. Well, if they just go to 230tips.com, and uh, it's actually the number 230 and tips, T-I-P-S.com, that's all the information on me and my business, but just on the left-hand side of the website is where you can see a copy of my book, click on the link, it'll take you right to Amazon, where you can purchase either a Kindle copy or a, a real uh, paperback copy of the book. And you can also reach me by Twitter. Uh, my handle is Excel Your Energy, and I'd love to chit-chat with you there. Excellent. Thank you. Well, speaking about Excel Your Energy, how did you come up with the idea of merging energy and those full foundational philosophies of energy with Microsoft Excel? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a really funny story. Well, funny and not so funny story. Um, we were just saying in the last segment how the universe sends you angels sometimes. Um, and I was also saying in the last segment about how my class is in a class. It's a party. <laughs> well, I was Pittsburgh one day teaching Microsoft Excel, the spreadsheet program. And one of the things I love to do before class is just to go around the room and chit chat like it's a cocktail party and find out about who people are and where they work and, you know, what they're here to learn. Because I know a lot of people think that when they come in for a computer class, that it's going to be boring and it's going to sound like left click, right click, Bueller, Bueller. No, I want it to be fun. And I want people to be relaxed because there is, for some people, a huge fear of computer training. So I was doing that in Pittsburgh one day, and uh, there was this lady that walked in the room. And no eye contact, no smile, and she just sat down at her desk and was just sitting there just waiting for class to start. And so I walked over to her, and I said, hi, good morning, with a great big smile. And 
there wasn't really response back. So I just thought she was might maybe a little, you know, having a bad morning or, you know, just having uh, some anxiety about the class. Other people might have thought she was a snob, but I knew usually there's more to that story. Well, I went along and did my class my merry old way, the way I do, showing people tips and tricks. And the same lady walked up to me at noon, and she said to me, Teresa, you're an angel. And I said, why? And she said, my dad has been in the hospital for the last week, and we all know that he's about to get his wings. And I haven't been sleeping. I haven't been eating. And I didn't know what to expect today, but I just needed to go to work to, to get my mind off of it. And this is the first time in days that I've been able to smile and even laugh. And I just want to thank you for that. Mm. And I said to myself, man, there's something to this energy thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing how powerful it can be and how it can change someone's mood for the good and the bad, Eve, actually. Yeah. And I thought... You know, there's a book inside of me. There's got to be some way that I can share this information with other people and and how they can have more energy in their life, have a less stressed life, uh, so they can think more clearly about life. And that's when I decided to create Accelerate Your Energy. But I wanted it to be more than just a book, because anybody can just write a book. There's a million books on this subject. So what I decided to do was create a journal within the book, And also have a whole slew of energy-boosting exercises that people can do immediately to start feeling better about who they are and how they feel physically as well. Uh, And that's how Accelerate Your Energy was actually born. And I correlate Excel tips, Excel shortcuts to these tips so that people get a, a fun way of learning about stress management. So that's how I've merged excel with energy. I love it. And I also like how you really want people to enjoy even reading the book so that in the in the part where you have the table of contents, you then say, now pour your favorite beverage, get a comfy (laughs) chair and get ready to accelerate your energy. So even if you're you're wanting the, the whole reading of the book to be a positive use of energy, and I love that. <laughs> hey, thank you for that. Yeah, it was fun putting together the book. It really was. It was great to go down memory lane, too, and remember all the things that I did to get where I am today. So thank you for acknowledging that. Oh, sure. And, you know, um, the you had mentioned something about the, um, and just so callers know that, your book's already gone. The poster of the oh. top five energy boosting tips is still open for the next caller. Um, but you also talked about, you know, how sometimes that energy can kind of be good and bad. You know, we I always say that life's too short to have toxic people and situations in our life. And yet, we got them. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, can, what can we do to, you know, if we do have those kind of negative kind of coworkers, negative friends in the office, at home, what can we do about that? Oh, that's such a great question. It's one of the number one questions I get when people have read my book and they follow up with me afterwards. Um, so I've got five different ways in Accelerate Your Energy that can help with negative coworkers, friends, and even family members. And I know you don't have, we don't have time to go through all five, so I'm going to give you the top two. So okay. the first thing is limit your time with them. Get in and get out. <laughs> this is great for family members if you have to go to those dinners that you really don't want to go to or, uh, you know, those corporate events that you really don't want to go to. Go there quickly, swiftly. Limit your time with those negative people and get out. But here's the one that I have personally used in my past, and I still use it to this day. And it's about having a pre-planned script. So here's what I mean. When I was in my early 20s as a purchasing agent, there we had to do a lot of work with this company out in another province of Montreal, in Montreal. And uh, there was this one guy that I had to do business with who, whenever I heard his voice on the phone, I didn't know if I was going to be talking to the devil-possessed man person from the exorcist or Little Bo Peep. I had no idea who he was going to be, okay? We'll mm. call him 
we'll just call him Rob for just so I've got a name for the store, mm-hmm. okay? I've, I've changed the name so I don't get sued. So, <laughs> um, now the problem with Rob is he had a very bad temper and he loved to curse. And I, at that time of my life, I just felt very uncomfortable with people that cursed at me. So one of the things that I, I did whenever he would curse with me on the phone because he would get angry about a shipment that didn't come in or whatever the deal was, is I would get very flustered. And one time I actually hung up the phone on him because the phone just slipped out of my hand because I was shaking so much. Well, that guy calls into my boss, and I can hear the phone ringing. I can hear him yelling on the phone. To my, I can actually hear him yelling on the phone to my boss. And my boss calls me into the office, and he says to me, well, what happened on the phone? And I explained him what happened, and he said, you need a script. So we actually created a script. Do you want to hear the script, Eve? I would love it. <laughs> okay. Now, the, the, to do this script, you have to say it in the most therapy sweet voice. And the okay. script was, my goal and desire is to help you. Speaking like this will not get you anywhere. If you continue to speak like this, I'll have no choice but to hang up. Mm-hmm. So I know it sounds sickeningly sweet, right? But it's very professional. Right. And I got the check mark from my boss. So what I decided to do was print out this script and put it everywhere, on my bathroom. So while I'm brushing my teeth or brushing my hair, I would say it out loud. My goal and desire is to help you. Speaking like this will not get you anywhere. If you continue to speak like this, I'll have no choice but to hang up. So I started Mm -hmm. practicing with people on the phone. If they said the word heck or darn, I would (laughs) say, my goal and desire is to help you. So that day happened. Rob called up, and he said a horrible bad word. And I was ready. And Mm -hmm. I said my goal and desire is to help you. Speaking like this will not get you anywhere. If you continue to speak like this, I'll have no choice but to hang up. On the other end of the phone, I heard, what the beep 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 <laughs> And I said, my goal and desire is to help you. All of a sudden, I heard a click. He hung up on me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He called into my boss's office. I could hear him yelling on the phone saying, who is this girl that you hired straight out of college? And my boss said to him, I'm sorry to hear that, but our goal and desire is to help you. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to get you anywhere. So he turned the tables on him. So having a script is something that can empower you because it's something that you think about. It's something that you construct. It's something that you strategize. And it helps you feel more empowered to deal with stressful situations such as that. So have a pre-planned script to face that person that drives you crazy. And you'll be able to manage it a lot better. That's my tip. I love that because so often when we're in that stressful situation, if we just had something we could look at to read in some ways too, that would be so helpful because our mind goes blank sometimes there. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're Uh, welcome. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be getting to reading. So please stay tuned. You're listening to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. We'll be right back. Are you searching? Looking for a sign? A message you need to hear? From the great unknown? From the most mysterious place? That is the most familiar to your soul? In the depths of who you are? The universe puts someone here to talk to. Someone God gave a blessing to. That you may find insight with. TheAngelLady.net 1-800-323-1790 Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Justice Welling. 
Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio, featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. Welcome back to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. I'm Eve, the MBA Psychic from Elite Tarot. If you'd like to learn more about me, book a reading over phone or Skype worldwide or for an event nationwide, you can go to my website, EliteTarot.com. That's E-L-I-T-E-T-A-R-O-T.com or MainstreamMetaphysicsRadio.com. I am here today talking with my awesome guest, Teresa Bell, Bell talking about time and stress management. So, but we are going to get right to calls. Just so listeners know, I have a candle lit, which is my signal to open a session. And I'll be pulling three cards on the caller's behalf. The first one represents you. The second card represents something challenging or blocking you. And the third card representing advice. Before we get to readings, I always like to start with a small disclaimer that we are not doctors, lawyers, therapists, or realtors. And a reading should never be taken as a substitute for seeking guidance from a licensed professional. At the core, these are just cards and they have absolutely no power over you. You always have free will. If you're following along with the readings, I am using the Rider Waite Smith deck, which you can see online if you do not have a deck with you. So why don't we bring on our first caller, Gretchen? Welcome to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank Hi. you for having me. Oh my gosh, I had, thanks so much for calling in. And you're talking with Teresa, and, and we're just wondering, is there anything you have a particular question about that you'd like some guidance on? Well, I definitely have a lot of stress and time management issues. I'm a single mom. I'm an international flight attendant for a big airline, so I'm out of the country on a regular basis. And the thing that falls to the wayside is, how do I date? Love life. Mm-hmm. It seems impossible. I, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to cut you off there. I I totally hear you. Um, and thank you so much for for sharing that question. While you were talking, I was also shuffling the cards, and I'm just pulling three cards on your behalf. Before I get there, though, in terms of dating, um, particularly with all the other demands that you've got going on, it's important, you know, to be as strategic with that energy as possible. And Mm -hmm. so do you have written down a list of your non-negotiable qualities that you're looking for? Yes, I have. And I've rewritten it several times because I think um, there are mostly about 10 things that are essential me and I, I think I need to revise that soon. I yeah. haven't done it lately. 
Yeah, take a look at it. And then with everything that you've written down, kind of ask yourself, what if the most perfect person came but didn't have this? Just to make sure that you have only the bare non-negotiables, but without the okay. specifics. Because, you know, like brown hair may be nice, but when we put a specific in there that may not necessarily be a absolute non-negotiable, what you do is you kind of tie the hands of the universe from being able to exceed your expectations because then you might not see and embrace okay. the opportunity if someone's not kind of matching some of those specifics. So I always say write down your non-negotiables, but without those specifics, just to make All sure right, then, that's, yeah, that's and then you're advice. just leaving, okay. thank you, and then you're just leaving it for the universe to do its job. <laughs> so you don't have right. to. Thank well, you. Okay. The first part, Sure. The first card that I pulled over was the Seven of Pentacles. And, you know, this is an interesting card about energy because here you've got a person and he's looking at this garden that he's tilled with six, um, six pentacles in it. And the thing is, is that at the same time, there's one pentacle down by his feet and it's like, Ooh, do I want more of the same? Do I want to start something new? Do I want to just kind of do nothing? And so right now you're in sort of this crossroads time and you're taking mm -hmm. that time to really evaluate those options. Just please be careful that you're giving every option equal weight. It's so easy to put all of our attention looking back in the past, looking back at what didn't work and all of that which then kind of dominates the energy and then it makes it that much harder to kind of get that excitement and embrace some of that new new energy. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. Weigh all the options, okay. <laughs> exactly, yeah. but with that same energy, the same percentage of energy, something challenging or blocking is the Eight of Cups. And here again, it is almost this, drive of going towards the unknown and in this card is all about recognizing that something does not need to be evil or bad for it not to be right for you and that as you're going forward just because you can't see where you're kind of heading it doesn't mean you're going in the wrong place Yet okay. at the same time, in both of these two cards, the brain is focusing so much on the known. And by doing that, you're, you attempt, the brain is attempting to self-sabotage you going into some new directions. Not because the brain hates you, but because the brain doesn't know what that means and the brain is just trying to keep you safe. And so this is really all okay. about continuing forward despite the the feeling of like regret of you know really beating yourself up questioning just because while it's understandable it's just not an effective use of energy and then i'm just going to turn right. over an advice card before i turn it over to teresa for her perspective and it's the 10 of pentacles and this card mm -hmm. is about not just to be careful not to chase a particular result and in oh, this card you okay. see this beautiful scene um kind of this couple and the kid and happy kid and the blue skies the dogs but on the uh, and they're kind of, that's showing one part of an archway on the other side of the archway is an elderly man who's kind of looking through this archway at this scene and the thing is is that when we when we have this feeling of it has to be a certain way it has to look a certain way and even questioning where some of those thoughts came from like who said it has to be it, this who said it has to be um you know blue skies who said it has to be brown hair and just using that as right. an example but when you chase that end result it's almost as if you're watching your life instead of actually participating in some of those Living ups and downs life. and joys. Wow. But okay. It's, that's, you're, that's really great. I like that. Oh, I'm so glad. You're definitely headed in the right direction. I think it's just allow the brain to self-sabotage and know that if it is, it just means that you that the brain is freaking out because you're doing something good because you're going into a new new realm. And that's the exciting right. part. Teresa, right. do you have any Oh sure. Do you Teresa, do you have any comments? And we we have to go into a break at uh, 
in a few minutes, but if you're not done, we'll just continue on the other side of the break. So no, no need to rush. <laughs> Gretchen, I love the fact that you are always wanting to revise your list. I mean, I think it symbolizes growth in your life, growth in you, growth in what you uh, want, and you want something better for your life all the time, right? That's why you revise yeah. the And as soon as I heard your story, it sort of reminded me of my story, And because uh, I am from Toronto, Canada. My husband was from Washington, D.C., but when we met, we had a long-distance relationship for about four years. So we use technology to always try to keep in contact with each other. When you do find your mate, and make it an adventure for yourself. You don't have to just date one person. Try out different people. Find find out a little bit about each person so you can see if they meet the criteria on your list. But use the technology. Use Skype. Use FaceTime. Use uh, WhatsApp to talk to people and really find out who they are and what they're all about so that you can make a good decision because you've got kids and you want to make sure that they also merge well with your kids as well. Limited time on the ground, literally, you know, so maybe a coffee meeting. I, You know, in the evenings I'm with my daughter, so that's kind of out or I miss time with her because I'm gone three days a week traveling. So yeah. when I'm home the four days a week or the three days a week, I don't want to spend it with other people, but yet I'm missing love in my life in a relationship with somebody, you know, on that level that I'm just a parent right now. I'm not a partner with anyone. Right. So I want to fulfill all sides of myself and, and show my daughter what a healthy relationship looks like. So when she starts dating, she knows what that is. Right. But finding the person is the challenge because of the time issues. So I, I guess meeting as many people but kind of talking to them so I know who to see in person is probably a good idea. Yeah. Great. Good. And, I can make and that you, Absolutely. And, you know, also one thing that you said, I just, um, I'm always kind of like the, the semantic uh, energy person because you said, yeah. I'm a parent, but I'm not a partner. I would love for you to say that but add one word, and that's yet. Yet. Okay. So because. Hard, but I'm not a partner yet. Okay. Exactly. Note how physically that feels different inside. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we want to make sure that your words are reflecting the fact that you're just, you're just kind of now waiting for the universe to do its job, you do your job, and, and it all kind of moves forward. But the more that you kind of limit that talk, the more that self sabotage has more power. I, I see. hope to so stay positive in the wording. Okay. Exactly. Even if the brain, I didn't ask you if you believe it. So even if the brain is rejecting it, so make sure the words do. And that can be that power and that magical power of words. Gretchen, will you please yes. keep us updated and let us know and invite us to the wedding? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your help. Yeah. If you need a DJ, I know who you can call. At the, absolutely. <laughs> we got everything all laid out for MC, you. If you got it. Don't call stop, away. Stop. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gretchen, for calling. We're going to take a quick break. We're listening to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. We'll be right back. Robbins, published author and channel, connects our hearts to the hearts of beings in advanced civilizations as she taps into the cosmos. We are living in important times now as we merge our consciousness with these of other realms and raise our vibration and awaken to who we are and why we are here. Learn to live in unconditional love. Visit DianeRobbins.com today and immerse yourself in the many books, newsletters, and channeling Diane has to offer. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Huff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. 
Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Are you traveling most of your day? Do you want to take Transformation Talk Radio with you anywhere you go? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Just go to the App Store on your Apple device or the Google Play Store on your Android and search Transformation Talk Radio. Catch all of our live shows no matter where you are. Thanks for listening. Treat the body and expand the soul on June 1st with Lynn Brown. Imagine three days in a hand-built log home nestled in the Cascade Mountain. Activate the collaboration between the body and spirit and allow the accelerated connection as one of the most powerful ways to light up your cells, honor the body's needs in this all-inclusive event. Visit lynnmbrown.com or call 206-931-7356. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Welcome back to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. I'm Eve, the MBA psychic from Elite Tarot, having a stress and time management party with my guest, Teresa Bell. Teresa, before we continue talking, can you please share with the listeners again how they can reach you and learn more about you? Absolutely. Uh, my website is www.230tips.com. And the reason why it's called 230 is because I like to give people tips and tricks so they can get the work done by 2.30. So it's the number 230tips.com. And, and that's also, T-I-T-S. <laughs> you got it. And you can also reach me by Twitter uh, at Excel Your Energy. That is my Twitter handle. Excellent. Now, you know, before the end of the show, I would love it if you could give listeners one tool that they can use today to manage any stress that they might have. Okay, great. Well, it actually comes from Chapter 6 uh, of Accelerate Your Energy, and it's about creating a ritual for yourself before you leave and get out of the house or before you return. And what that ritual I call, is called, it's called the 3D formula. It, it, it's a takeoff of the 3D formula that you do in Microsoft Excel that links up the different worksheets you got to link up three different things in your life before you leave the house. And that means doing something nurturing for your mind, your body, and your spirit every day. And it can be in a form of anything, such as, you know, walking the dog while you're listening to a podcast. So this way you're getting your, your body energized. You're learning something new. That's the mind. And it's also helping your spirit as well. Or how about hugging and high-fiving your kids? your loved ones, or even just hugging yourself before you leave and head out the door. Do something for yourself every day so that you can, fe- so you can face the day, so that you can take on any challenges that happen for yourself. That's, that's one tip that they can do. I love it. And these are all things that anyone can do because stress, it impacts us so, you know, it has such a tremendous impact on all of us. And it's the kind of thing where we, you can't just wish it away, but it actually takes some action in order to kind of shift that, that stressed energy out there. Right. I always have this expression that says, in order 
to get a little energy, you got to give a little energy. <laughs> mm. so give a little energy to yourself. It'll come back tenfold from that. So that's, that's what I do. I mean, every Monday um, I go for a walk around my neighborhood. It's a, right, right around the block. It's a good mile. And I listen to your podcast as well. As oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, absolutely. Because especially with your podcast, because it helps your spirit and your mind all at the same time. So the walking <laughs> helps with the physical portion of it. And I tell you, Eve, on the days that I don't do that walk and listen to my podcast, the day seems to go a little crazier for some reason. So I've just created a habit of it. And my day usually goes pretty well. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's funny because uh, I'll go to Tai Chi class and uh, and before we get to the actual Tai Chi movements, we always go through this, the stretching, various stretching things. And as someone who's not the most flexible, it's always that part that I'm like, oh, maybe I could just skip the stretching part and just come for the, the, the Tai Chi energy moving times. But I always feel so much better when it's not just about the mental energy, but there's also that physical energy as well. Um, even though it, it's like anything, it's a habit. And starting a habit is is always the hardest part. Absolutely. I mean, I've heard another podcast that you do a lot of yoga. So during your yoga classes, you're doing a lot of movement. And usually at the end or the beginning, there's a meditation. That's the 3D formula. Oh, by the way, the D stands for dynamic, doing something dynamic for yourself. That's what mm-hmm. it so. Yeah. No, I love it. Now, before we close, what's next for you on your ever-evolving journey? Because you're just getting started. So what's next for you? <laughs> well, continuing to live my life with gusto, that's what I want to do. Because in a way... It's sending a huge hug, hug back to the universe to say thank you. Um, but I also want to bring accelerate your energy to life. Um, I've learned, Eve, that making mistakes have been a foundation for my success in stress management and time management. And I want to be able to share that with as many people as I can. So what I've done or what I'm doing and I'm going to continue to do this, is I have very small, exclusive uh, energy-boosting teams, usually less than 10 people. If I have more than 10 people, then people feel a little uncomfortable sharing their information. Um, and what we do with these energy-boosting groups is it's online, so you don't even have to leave your house. Uh, you can be in your pajamas if you want to. I have it for the West Coast, and I also have it for the East Coast for two different time zones. And we actually put the teachings from Accelerate Your Energy into practice. We go through some of the energy-busting exercises. Um, And I know that people are busy, so we meet online, only two sessions, one hour a session, and we cover strategies for stress management in the first session and strategies for time management in the second session. And on my website, 230tips.com, you can sign up for some of the energy-boosting tips that are in our session, or, and you can also find out more information about the uh, energy boosting courses that we have. So uh, that's what's next for me. I want to be able to share this information with people worldwide. Thank you for asking. No, I, I, I love that. I would definitely encourage people to, to consider doing this because as one who feels so honored and grateful when I have uh, even a little bit of your enthusiasm and just positive energy on me, I just know that you will make such a difference for other people as well, particularly when trying to kind of navigate some of those ups and downs. It all sounds good. Okay, I need to, to be less stressed. I need to manage my time. But when it's actually confronted with those daily hurdles and challenges that we all face, it can be, it can be a little bit of a, a challenge. And so how wonderful that is to be able to, to navigate that with someone who knows what they are doing. Okay. Yeah, I actually got inspired uh, from Oprah Winfrey, who was doing a commencement speech. And she I'll never forget the quote uh, that she said. She said, surround yourself with people that are going to lift you up and eliminate those that are toxic. And mm. I've always remembered that. So that's why in my own personal life, I always try to surround myself with cheerleaders and really limit myself with a, a, my, uh, with a time with the people that are naysayers or people that are very negative. And we can bring these people together and show them the power of energy and the power of a light. It's amazing. 
amazing yeah. how like the darkness. So that's why I like doing small exclusive well, energy. Well, thank you so much, Teresa, for being on the show today. Will you come back for a future show? I would love to. Thank you so much for the invite. I appreciate well, it. Well, it has I'm, it's been such an honor to have you on the show, and thank you so much for being here. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to our energy show on Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. Thank you, Benny, for running the show, and thank you to one and all for tuning in. It's such a blessing and an honor to be able to do this show each week, and I look forward to next week's show where I will be doing readings all hour. Please join me every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern with peace and love and gratitude. See you back here next time. You've been listening to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio with your host, Eve. Join us Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com to harness the power of the universe for optimal success and happiness as Eve continues to take metaphysics mainstream. Until then, learn more about Eve and Elite Tarot at EliteTarot.com. That's EliteTarot.com. See you next week. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.